This watch looks like a standard analog watch, but it has got so many smart features packed into it. Welcome to my review of the Withings Scan Watch 2. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm simply sharing with you my opinion of this product so you can make an informed buying decision. Now, before we take a look at the box contents and the features, just a little bit of background. I really do love my watches. I own many a watch. Some of them are automatic. I own a few smart watches as well, a few quartz watches. This one is a great mix and it really has intrigued me. The box looks really nice. This is a, like a very nice presentation box. On the side here, we get a look at the app. The app will actually track and give you access to the data, things like your heart rate, uh, sleep, also your blood oxygen levels. So many different measurements are tracked within the app. It also works with the Apple Health app as well, works with Google Health Connect, and the actual app you're going to install on your phone is available in either the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. We take a look round on the back here, it says it's compatible with the iPhone, iPad, uh, iOS smartphones, and also smartphones and tablets running Android 9 or later. With regard to the iOS support, it's iOS 15 or later. So really nice, simple box. Inside the box, we get this. So we get a sort of welcome to your watch and how to get everything up and running very quickly. Of note, there are two sizes, a 38 millimeter and a 42 millimeter. This one is the 42 millimeters. There is also a product guide here as well, how to get started and get everything up and running. And then we also get a charging cable, which is full size USB to USB-C. And then that plugs in to the little mini charger. So this is the charger for your watch. There's a little bit of a sort of an expansion side to it. Contacts just in here and the USB-C cable goes in the side here. So you have to open this up, pop your watch in, allow it to clamp back down, and then the contacts will make contact with your watch and charge it. So really nice compact little charger. I like the fact this is so small actually, because it means that it's uh, transportable. If you're perhaps traveling, you can pop this in the pocket of your bag. And then we get the smartwatch to itself. And before I put this on my wrist, I just want to show you around the watch. It just looks like a normal high quality watch. We've got a stainless steel case here with a combination of sort of some brushed finishes and also we've got some polished finishes as well. The satin polishing on the side here is exceptional. It's really high quality. We've got a nice sapphire crystal across the front and as a normal watch, you can simply use it for reading the time. And we've got a crown here as well, which is in fact a digital crown. So let's just take a look at how this is gonna become a smartwatch. And we just push this button here and you can see it displays the time in digital format as well. We can use this crown to go into settings or we can go into our clock and set things like alarms and timers. We've also got a breathe exercise. We've got our blood oxygen levels. We've also got an ECG feature, workout feature. We've got the floors climbed. We've also got the distance we've, we've actually walked, how many steps we've taken. The, um, I think this is skin temperature. And then we've also got our current heart rate and then back round to the time. Now this is flashing a little bit on the camera. It doesn't flash in real life. It is a steady display and a very clear display as well. If we take a look round on the back here, this is obviously where all the sensors are. It's a really nice case back to this, nice and flat. You do get some smart watches that protrude quite a lot at the back. Yes, it does come out a couple of millimeters, but it is just a very, very comfortable back to this watch. And then we've got some grip on the back of the nice soft silicon strap, plenty of holes for adjustment. And then on this side here, you'll see we've got a tang type buckle. So very, very easy to use. And then this little sliding piece, which is gonna keep the excess strap in place. Also of note is this is a quick release strap. So you can take this off very easily and replace it with a strap of your choice. 
And here we go. This is what it looks like on my 17.3 centimeter or 173 millimeter wrist. It is very, very comfortable indeed. And I think the 42 millimeter size is just right for my size of wrist. If you've got smaller wrists, I would definitely go with the 38 millimeters. There are plenty of different color choices when it comes to the actual case and also the straps. I think it looks absolutely stunning and the smart features work exceptionally well. Having a watch that looks like a normal traditional watch, but then being able to drill down into the sort of measurements that it takes and also being able to look at those on the app as well, which is beautifully designed, makes this a stunning, stunning choice. It is absolutely packed of features and it looks awesome. I really do like this combination of smart features mixed with a traditional watch. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out those links down in the video description area. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.